Remember, Al Sharpton admitted to wearing a wire against the mob. If you are willing to risk your life wearing a wire against the mob, imagine what you'll do against black folks. You feel me? Remember, Jesse Jackson, these are not my words, according to William, uh, William Pepper, Dr. King family attorney. If you haven't read the book, Orders to Kill and the Assassination of Dr. King, you better read it. He names Jesse Jackson unquestionably as an accomplice to the murder. They say Jesse called off the security at the Divine Lorraine Hotel in Memphis on April 4th. There was a group of black brothers. Like when I go around, I got brothers here doing security for me. Get them a hand, by the way, for helping to keep Dr. Umar safe. So when Dr. King got to Memphis, there was a bunch of brothers who said, we're going to hold you down right. on the strength. Jesse Jackson told them they wasn't needed. He called them off. Jesse called them off. And within about an hour, Dr. King was dead. Also, somebody from the Southern Christian Leadership Office called the hotel. Dr. King was on the ground floor. He wasn't supposed to be up in room 306. Somebody from the SCLC office called the hotel and said Dr. King requests that his room be upstairs. They needed him upstairs so the Memphis police officer who killed Dr. King, Dr. King was murdered by a Memphis police officer. The Memphis police officer who murdered Dr. King could get a clean shot. And then the Green Berets, who was the backup shooter, said that they were told that friendlies were not wearing ties. Anybody who was not wearing the tie should not be shot. Why did Jesse Jackson not have a tie on that day? How did he know not to get shot? You see? No, Dr. King was suffocated to death in the hospital. Dr. King showed up alive at the hospital, and this is in the book by William Pepper. And how do we know that he was suffocated to death at the hospital? A white nurse. A white nurse in the room said that they pushed us to the side, told us to get out, but she did not leave. She stayed at the door, and she watched the doctor and the FBI agent put a pillow over Dr. King's face and suffocated him to death. And just like they said when they killed Fred Hampton, that good and dead now. And y'all want to keep trusting white folks. You just go ahead. Go ahead. I spoke to Dr. Pepper earlier today. Here's what he had to say about the way Dr. Martin Luther King was actually killed. Wow. He wasn't killed from the bullet that hit him on the balcony. He was taken to the St. Joseph's Hospital, and he was killed in the emergency room of St. Joseph's Hospital by the chief of neurosurgery, Dr. Breen Bland, who came in when they were all working on him in the emergency room, and he said, get out of here, let that die. And as they moved out of the room, the last one out was a surgical nurse, Lula Mae Shelby. And when she heard them gathering up spit in their lungs to spit on Martin's body lying on the bed there, then she saw Dr. Bland take the catheters out of Martin's body and take the pillow from under his head and put it over his face and suffocate him. And that's how Martin King died. That's how he was really assassinated. Now, he might have died anyway from the bullet wounds, but he didn't. He was still alive and still breathing. The chief, of, chief neurosurgeon, he, he intervened and he made sure that death would result. Wow. Right? My jaw was on the floor. Now, Dr. Pepper knows this because the son of the nurse, Lula Mae Shelby, who died, but before she died, told her family, the son of this nurse told Dr. Pepper under oath. And when Dr. Pepper confronted a member of the Dixie Mafia, he said, yes, this happened. And actually that the chief of surgery was their family doctor. And that three weeks before the assassination, he visited them and said, hey, if the bullet doesn't kill him, make sure he goes to St. Joseph's because we will make sure that he dies. Now, let's talk about this case. You do not support Dr. Umar Johnson if you take some hating ass article and go repost it all over social network. Start about look what somebody said about Umar. No, that's you backing them up. You let it die where you found it. Either defend me or shut the hell up, but don't spread the filth.